Welcome to another thrash heavy rhythm guitar lesson. This time I'm going to tell you something extremely important. Something I want to share on this video with you is importance of you know a few important facts about guitar tone. It really is in the player. It really is. You know, it's like the reason why I using just a, just playing into this little practice amp here with no boost pedals or anything like that is because I wanted to strip down all the bells and whistles that we think we need for getting the perfect tone or whatever. Of course we need the right tools for the right job. I couldn't play a Fender Tele into um, a Vox AC15 or whatnot and hope to get a, a crushing exodus saying that's just not going to happen. You know, the same reverse if you want to play country, you're not going to get it from like a seven string Ibanez EMG loaded guitar with, you know, into a rectifier, a, a triple rectifier or nothing like that. You're not going to get a country sound out of that. You, well, why would you use tools like that to get for the wrong sort of music? It's just not going to happen. But aside from that, to get a good tone or if you, if you ask questions on how to, how do you set the gain? How do you, how do you, where do you set this, where do you set your mids, where do you set whatever. It's all to do with using your ears, it really is. And it, and it you know, and the thing is you learn about your equipment through experience of playing, through gigging, through playing in bands, recording, rehearsals, all of that kind of stuff. And if you really want to know, if you want to know how to, if you're honing in on a particular tone, if you want to sound like a particular band, and to get near that sort of sound, you've got to learn to play like them. But personally, I would say, you know, it's like use your influence as a, as a guide to give you a rough idea of what you want to sound like. And then you, you go and try stuff out, but then you make your own decisions about, well, I like, I prefer Marshalls, or I prefer Mesa Boogie, or I prefer Engel, or Randall, or whatever. You know, or I prefer to use this kind of thing. And, you know, you make small adjustments. And make it your own you know make, make what you can get the grips the important thing is using a, a piece of equipment that you can get the grips with you know the right guitar for you sort of thing whether it's an Ibanez or whether it's a Jackson or Dean a Gibson whatever you know providing it that it gives you the right it's the right tool like I say the right tool for the right job and the rest of it is is all experience of learning how to use it in proper gigging situations when a situation becomes live and when it becomes under the microscope i.e. in the studios and all this trying to sound like uh, exactly like a certain album or whatever it's it it's uh, it's a complete it's, it's a difficult process you'd have to speak to the producers to get that sort of sound and that's very that is very behind the scenes and that I just wouldn't even know, you know, I've done my own recording and I could only get what I could get out of, you know, I could only get for what I sound like. I couldn't do anything with it. That was it. But, uh, so that that's, that's the important part is spend more time on your technique, you know, really learn to, learn to play, like, you know, and keep your gear and your rigs as simple as possible. And don't use too much stuff that you don't need because that can affect your tone. That can compress the notes, and all that sort of thing. And like I say, you you learn how to you know all, all of trying to find what your hero uh, uses, all that sort of thing. It all goes out the window in reality. It really does. You know. Now, of course, certain lead guitar players might say a little bit differently because they require different sounds for different. Uh, solos and whatnot that's another thing that is another conversation as well but i expect they'll probably say about keeping things uh as functional as po functional as possible because usually less is more i know it's a cliche but it is it's true it's you know it certainly works better it certainly works better to me anyway the you know, lesser use 